up you guys it's your girl narali and where do i even begin with my video you guys as y'all can see i am at home i feel like absoluteness not it as y'all can see i look not it i just was not feeling it today um as y'all can see i have my beautiful amazing um i call her my friend i don't want to say like maid or house keeper this and that she's amazing um i told her i wasn't having a good day and she is here she's cleaning up she's helping me clean up and also she is cooking me she's so sweet she's cooking me some rice and like i'll show you guys when if i get a chance i'll probably on my snapchat because she's probably gonna cook it later um but she's just here helping me feel better and just helping me because i am literally going through the worst pregnancy symptoms and i also feel it has a lot to do with obviously laura just coming and starting my day off on the wrong foot so yeah you guys i wanted to say that a little bit um i'm gonna try not to be rowdy but then again when i get into my conversations with y'all and i get into the video i tend to just start screaming um but i feel like i i did too much of that this morning like i told you guys my head is pounding i feel nauseous to the t like it's just giving me flashbacks of when like in the early stages with king i was pregnant and i just was feeling so sick i was you guys seen on tiktok but like a long time ago if y'all are ogs i would throw up everything so yeah i'm in my t-shirt we're literally matching that's cute but yeah you guys so let me get into what happened this morning so this morning like i've been telling y'all i told y'all that laura's not going to come to the doctor's appointments this and that yes she's not being able to come to all or certain appointments but she last night she blew up my phone on different different numbers because i had her blocked yes i did have her blocked and she just started telling me because she knew that the appointment was coming up so the ultrasound and obviously you guys know that we've just been monitoring the ultrasounds for a lot of reasons so she's just saying like oh can i please come i want to see king just let me see my kid let me see my kid let me see my kids and what you're not gonna do is try to like make a false narrative which you always do to make it seem like so when my kids get older, you're going to show them these false videos of how I never let you be involved or see my children. I'm not the type of bitter mother who's going to sit here and say like, oh, look, kids, when, when you were little, your mom was doing this and your mom was saying that. That's not what's going to happen. That's not what I'm going to say. That's not the type of person that I am. I'm not going to fill my children's heads up with negativity. I want it to always be positivity and growth for my kids. So none of that will be taking place on my end. So this is me basically letting it be known just in case my kids do get older and she tries to pin that narrative on me. That's not what's happening. So that's fine. So that's fine. You can see King and you can see him and the baby at the ultrasound office. This is in a public place. I don't have to sit in my house and, you know, have conversation with you that I don't want to have, that I'm tired of having with you. So long story short, you guys, I tell her this morning, this morning, because it, it did, to, I slept on it. I told myself, I'm going to sleep on it. I made the mature, motherly decision to say, you know what, Laura, demon, because my child is going to be around, I'm going to keep it cute and classy with you, but you can come to the ultrasound. I want you to keep it cute and classy. Do not press me about nothing. Don't ask me about nothing, especially in front of my child. My child and my children will never know any adult conversations. Let's leave it at that. All they know is rainbows, children, wise, childrenly things. En la cámara, mira. Ah, lo mejor es mi comida que ordené. ¿Mande? Sí, a lo mejor es comida. Um, yeah, you guys. So classy, cute. Like I was telling y'all, when it comes to my son, I don't play that. So none of that. So obviously, um, we had to pick up King this morning. She came to my house. I told her to come when I was ready. So all I had to do was get out and, you know, go into the car and we can go there together, pick up my son. Oh, okay. Um, gracias. And um, that was the case. So no, she comes in this morning when I'm not even dressed to go out. I'm literally just sitting here watching my TV, barely waking up this morning. And that's the first red flag. Like, so you already stepping wrong on the wrong foot with me. And so this is where I'm saying, this is why we can never be in a good place. This is why you're never going to go to the next level or next steps of being, of having a good conversation or a good day with your so-called family. Because at the end of the day, yes, I might not want to be with you and I might not, and I will not 
take things from you as a narcissist no more. But if you want to see your kids and you want to have this like bond and relationship with me and your son and your other children that's coming, you cannot keep coming in and starting conflict, which is all she knows how to do. She comes in my house, she starts acting nice, and then real quick the narcissist comes out of her because I don't give her her way. Back at it again, if y'all watch the video, she's constantly nagging at me, telling me get up, telling me um, why can't I just forgive her and move past things and act like nothing's wrong. I cannot do that with you. I'm not going to do that. And please, it's more disrespectful of you even still coming in here after A through Z that you have done. Everything that you have done has absolutely no excuse, no valid, no, nothing can satisfy or validate everything that you have done. So the answer is no. She starts, bro, what pissed me off, she starts saying, like, once I told, like, all right, y'all watch the video. I'm keeping it cute and classy the whole way. I'm telling her, I don't want to argue with you. I don't want to argue with you. Let me get dressed. Just step outside, please. I'm going to get dressed, and then we can go. No. She sits here. She's constantly recording me. Why are you recording me if I'm sitting here telling you I'm not trying to do none of that? I don't want none of this posted. I'm trying to just let this whole drama stuff die down. But no, you still want to make it seem like something that is not. Stop lying to the public. Stop lying to the public because that's why I be hopping on this camera and putting you on blast. That's why I be putting you on blast. One. Two, you're not going to make me seem like a bad mom to my kids. That's not what you're going to do because I never, never, ever want my kids to make it, to make you, to make it seem to my kids that I don't want them around their mother. You be acting out crazy, so why would I want my kids around you? And why would I want to be around you and my child when you bring out this person to me that I don't like? Period. That's enough for me to say that's, the, that's enough reasoning. I believe so. Yes, that is enough reasoning. So move fast forward. She's irritating me in the car. She's making me frustrated on the way there, on the way there until we get king where I'm just like, you know what? God, I say a prayer and I'm like, I clear out every negative thing in my head. I was this close to making her actually turn around and not seeing nothing. Not seeing no Ocho, not seeing no kids because she stopped. I told her off the camera, I said, you really going to stop your shit? And we're going to have a good day and we're going to go see the kids and be good? Or I promise you, you're going to make a U-turn, you're going to drop me off where you let me and you're going to go about your day and you're not going to see nothing. So she left me alone until we got king. She brought out her camera again, trying to make it seem like we're this big old happy family. So in front of my son, of course, I'm going to smile and I'm going to say, go with Dada, go with Baba. Of course, of course, I'm going to choose my child's happiness and my child's feelings over myself every single time like a mother should. Every single time. I mean, I cannot control my side eyes. I promise you in my videos, I was side eyeing like a motherfucker. Yes, I was. Because ain't no way, ain't no way that I'm going to give you the satisfaction to make you think that I'm enjoying any second of this because I'm not. I'm not. So we get to see my son. We get to get into the ultrasound. I start just worrying about my son. I say, you know what? Here, here's your time with King. Leave me out of it. Don't record me. Don't, don't make it seem like something is not because don't make it seem like I'm just out here forgiving you again and again and again like a dog because no, you're the dog. I'm not the dog. So y'all, yeah, we're at the ultrasound. We're hearing the heartbeat. This girl is conversating with my whole doctor, acting like nothing is wrong, just conversating away, trying to make it seem like we just is one big happy family. And I'm just sitting here looking at her side on her like, be fucking for real. Are you serious right now? Like, are you serious? You're that much of a no shame ass girl. You're that much of an embarrassment. You're that much as a, you have no shame. You're a disgrace. Literally. She literally sitting here acting like nothing's wrong. And the whole time she's filming. Oh, look at my baby. Oh, that's so Harvey. This and that. Let's still not forget. Let's still not forget everything that you wanted me to do when you wanted me to go to the clinic. Let's not forget that part. Because you tried to, you, you said you wasn't going to post that part in the video when I, when I was saying let's have a real conversation. Because you want to beat around the bush. And I'm tired. I'm tired of having to sit here and deal with the narcissistic ways. Yes, do I have to deal with this woman because of my kids? Yes, I decided to have kids with you. So therefore, I will sit in your face and let, allow you to see the kids from time to time. Why? Because I'm not going to keep, you're, you're not doing anything out of the ordinary for you to not see my kids. There's no reason why you shouldn't see them. Unless you are acting out, doing things you should not be doing, you will not see my kids, which is what I'm doing. I might sit and talk out of anger, but I'm not a bad mother. So I need to make this very clear, just in case you want to start a pot and lie to my kids when they get older. That's not what's happening. That's not what's happening. So best believe that the whole time we were at the, at the appointment, 
and everything was going down from when she came to my house to the appointment, I was side-eyeing her the whole time. I was side-eyeing her the whole time. Please do not believe for one second that I'm believing a narcissist, that I'm believing a bullshit, that I'm feeding into everything. As y'all can see, by the way I look in the way of everything, this whole, everything, my whole energy, I'm telling y'all my, my headache, I feel like, I keep saying this all the time, I feel sick. I do not feel good when you come around me, Laura. I do not feel any sort of goodness when you're around me. I don't feel positive vibe. I feel fakeness. I feel phoniness. And I can't stand it. I can't stand you trying to pick and poke at me. I cannot stand you. I cannot stand you. And I cannot stand you. And it's getting to that point where we real life going to have to take further actions. Because you're not understanding that the lengths that you're going with the harassment. Because that's what it's giving. That you're just really like, I can't even, like, I can't even explain the worst to y'all. All I can tell you guys is that I had enough. I'm very much fed up. And I'm supposed to be enjoying my pregnancy. And as you guys can tell, I'm not. Yes, I have my moments where I am super happy and I'm enjoying the journey and everything that's going on. But for the most part, Laura, and take this into consideration the next time you come around me, which you're probably not. But I'm just done. I'm fed up. I'm done. I need to rejuvenate myself, get good energy, good spirits. And I'm just happy, you guys, that she's gone. I'm happy that I don't have to see her for the rest of the day. I'm happy that I don't have to see her for a long time. I don't want to see you. I don't want you to come to my house. I don't want to see you. I don't want to see you. I don't want to see you. The farther you're away from me, the better. Period. I know you had never heard that in my life say that to you, but that's how I'm feeling because you're just making me sick. You're ruining my days. You're, you're making me raise my voice to the point where I can't even explain the way that I truly feel in my videos because of how sick that I'm feeling right now. Everybody who's been messaging me, everybody who I feel like so fatigued, like I probably need an IV or something. Y'all don't understand how I'm feeling, but I love you guys. I'm going to try to rejuvenate. Um, I'm going to try to, you know, go on my live later. I'm going to try to do some more snapchats for y'all keep y'all updated on everything i just right now i don't feel good and i just want everybody to pray for me i genuinely do i feel like prayer is such a strong thing that it just it, it does speak volume and i just know that prayer is the only thing that can help me in my situation so i thank you guys everyone and under her videos please everybody under the videos that she's posting on my channel Please go and comment under the videos and let her know that y'all are team at Raleigh. Let her know that she's phony and she's fake and that she will not defeat us. Because earlier again, when I'm talking to her about my supporters, she has the, the nastiest, negative, most things to say. But let her know that no matter what, you guys are the most supportive people in the world and that her narcissistic ways are no more. So I love y'all. I thank y'all. And that's all really I got to say for right now. I'm going to try to go feel better. And I will catch y'all when I look and feel better. I love y'all. I thank y'all again. I will see y'all soon.